Welcome to Managing Asia's Sustainable Future. I'm Christine Tan. In this episode, I speak to Samrodi Chai Mongku, CEO of Bampu Public Company, to find out how the coal mining company in Thailand is ramping up its diversification into the renewable energy business. According to the United Nations, coal production, transportation, storage and usage accounts for roughly 40% of the world's greenhouse gases. But one coal miner trying to drive down its emissions is Banpu Public Company. Since 2000, it's been on a journey to transform its business to beyond just coal. The aim is to become a fully integrated energy provider. Over the past four years, Banpu has accelerated its expansion into renewables for a more sustainable future. So, Murudi, thank you so much for talking to me. Banpu started out in 1983. At what point did the company start thinking about sustainability and wanting to make a real impact? Thank you, Christine and uh, Swadika. Talking about four decades ago, people do not understand about sustainability or ESG at all. But at that time, we know by heart that if we want to grow our business, we need to grow in alignment with growing the community. So that's come uh, the foundation of a Banpo ESG since the beginning of the inception of the company. And right now, mm -hmm. since the world has changed, a lot of mega trend happening, digitalization, decarbonization, decentralization, and that speed up Banpo to produce a new greener, smarter strategy. And that is the beginning of Banpo transformation that we have done for five years now, and we will continue to do that. After decades of being a coal miner, how big a challenge was it to change the mindset? We begin with a serious communication with our people that we will have to transform. Otherwise, uh, we'll be going backward, and we don't want to do that. So since uh, 2010, uh, we talk about uh, transformation. And uh, since 2015, when I succeed uh, my predecessor as a CEO, we start uh, to implement on the Greener Smarter. For the past five years, we spent uh, 2 billion US dollar, and 90% of those go to a greener investment, such as gas, such as renewable energy, and energy technology. So gradually, our people transform themselves as well. You set a goal for your clean energy business to contribute to half of the group's earnings by 2025. Are you on track to achieve the target? Has the pandemic delayed any of your plans? If we talk about the next five years, I believe that we are still on track, uh, considering we are adding more rapidly on the uh, renewable generation in uh, Japan, Vietnam, and in, in China as well. Australia now also offer a lot more uh, renewable energy opportunities, and we have set up Banpu Energy Australia. So I am quite certain that we are on track. In 2020, the group established Banpu Next to house its energy technology businesses, which includes its renewable energy plants, electric vehicles, and e-ferries. It's all part of the company's strategy to create a complete ecosystem, from energy creation and storage, to providing the energy to consumers, such as through charging stations for electric vehicles. Going forward, uh, we will scale up uh, on this part of energy technology. We believe that by 2025, it can generate a significant revenue to Banpu Next, as well as to the Banpu Group as well. Coal mining, the business, still contributes a significant part of the company's business. Do you see a future where Banpu could actually exit the coal mining business altogether? For us, in the next, let's say, five to ten years, totally exit from, from coal, uh, maybe not like that. We will have to uh, contribute to our customers because we still have to 
honor to our customer who is still uh, using this type of fuel. But what we will be doing is that we stop investing in the new coal asset. We are investing in the new renewable or clean asset or uh, the, re the energy technology. By doing this, um, the revenue contribution from coal, it will slowly, gradually be um, lower than the, the green part of the company. And finally, what leadership will you continue to provide to drive that transformation? We believe on the tone from the top. Uh, at Banpo, uh, we give a very, very high priority to sustainable policy in which we embed for more than uh, 15 years ago by our founder and my predecessor. So when we come to Banpo, every business, every strategic direction that we plan, we will always embed the sustainable policy in those uh, implementations. And that was Samrodi Chai Mongku, CEO of Bampu Public Company, talking to us from Thailand. Join us on the next Managing Asia Sustainable Future. I'm Christine Tan. Thanks for watching. Managing Asia Sustainable Future, brought to you by UOB.